Oh my god, this is so gross. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> One thing I've learned in my informative, albeit chaotic, adult years is that no two relationships are the same. Hey, Devin. Yeah? Stillness. Oh, sorry. Some couples, like Jared and I, balance each other out like yin and yang, like sugar and spice. Who's who again? I'm spicy, you're the sugar. That's really sweet. But also stop moving. Okay, sorry. Thank you. But what happens when two people are equal parts crazy in artistry? Do they explode, or does their dark star of a relationship burn on for eons? This is History Bites, a show where Jared and I mix our obsession with each other with our obsession with food and old romance. Jared recreates the dishes left behind by notable celebrities while I dish on their love life. In this episode, we're exploring the relationship between Salvador Dali and his wife slash muse, Gala. Are we done yet? Yeah. Let me see. Check her out. Pretty true to life, eh? <laughs> I love her. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> So Jared, what makes a healthy relationship? Hmm. Kale, apples, <laughs> turmeric. That is so cheesy. <laughs> I can't. Um, Bye. No, we have to film this episode. Okay. This is the crux of this episode, deciding nice. whether or not this couple had a healthy relationship. And by the way, let me just start by saying, I don't know if it's Gala or Gala. So I'm probably gonna mess it up. I'm so sorry if anyone's really offended. Probably the Gala apple people. Heaven forbid those are my favorite. So today we're gonna do one cocktail and one entree. A lot of these recipes are inspired by the dinner parties that he and Gala used to grow at their house. We're doing eggs on a spit. A very complicated recipe technically. Yeah, this shoot may age me 50 years. We don't know, we'll see. Basically, what we're gonna do is par cook the eggs in a pan with a bunch of other stuff, uh -huh. and then shove that mixture back into the eggshells, put them all on little spits, mm -hmm. roast them, and then serve them like that. <laughs> okay. The cocktail for the day is called the Casanova cocktail. So let's start doing this. All right, all right, all right. Whole Foods didn't have fresh ginger, so I got pre-minced. You? I know, I know, I know. I've given you so much shit in the past for wanting pre-shredded cheese. Jared, I went to six grocery stores yesterday. I am shook. Because their love story is so fascinating, I really want to Ken Burns their backstory and get to the juicy stuff. The orange juice that will be in this cocktail later? Wow. I'm sorry. Dad jokes galore today. It. Salvador Dali was born May 11th, 1904 in Figueres, Spain as Salvador Felipe Jacinto Dali y Dominic. Gala Dali was born, no, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna butcher this. this. They have so many names and they're so European. Please just look it up. He's very Spanish, she's very Russian. Her exact birth date is unknown, but her daughter said that she was born August 18th, 1894. So off the bat, we know that she is a Leo and we know that she is 10 years his senior. A double cougar. A cool. Okay, next we're gonna add a pinch of cayenne pepper. Boop, 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 boop. For the boozes. So we're gonna do some brandy and some bitters, which I got some Campari. So let's start with Dali. In his early life, he studied art in Barcelona and Madrid. He really didn't develop his artistic style until his 20s, around the same time that he discovered the work of Sigmund Freud. Gala was a very good student, but at the time they didn't provide higher education for women. I have a quote about Gala that I want to read. Gala always felt more comfortable in the shadows, but like Dali, she also wanted to become a legend one day. Gala was the focal point of mythologies, paintings, sketches, engravings. Have you ever been the subject of an engraving before? I rarely even show up in the subject of emails. We don't have muddlers, but um... This is you muddling? This is me making sure we get every last spicy bit. Also, this is mostly brandy, which is stressing me out. We're definitely gonna drink these after we've poked the holes in the eggs and refilled them, right? Yeah, we need to be centered, clear, ready to fail. Great. Okay, so I popped those in the fridge. We're gonna wait about 30 minutes. And I found aprons. We can't do this without cute aprons. Thank God. It's time for eggs. It's time for eggs. The oh. dreaded moment. Eggshells, they know if you're scared of them and Dude. they'll just break in your hands. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I brought this for you. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. So you're gonna poke a little hole in one end and a little hole in the other end. Oh my God, yeah. Okay, it's happening. All right. Oh. Did you do it? How are we supposed to get the egg back, back in? in? This egg is officially empty. 
You've done it. I did it. Faster than me. I'm impressed. So Gala was married with a daughter when she first met Salvador Dali. But don't let this little ring fool you. Gala and her first husband, for who all intents and purposes was one of the forefathers of the Surrealist movement, had an interesting situation. Some say she had extramarital affairs, most notably with Dadaist painter Max Ernst. Huh. Like there is an article written by Cecile where she remembers her mom and her dad and her mom's boyfriend all living in the same home. Ooh, a surrealist threes company. Right. They, what, a, what a trip. They didn't have the vocabulary for open marriages back then, but like whatever the situation was, she orchestrated it so it could work for her. She was getting what she needed and what she wanted. Exactly. Ow. History does not really remember her in the best light. Excuse me. Mm, get in there. Yeah, get in there. Don't Do stop. It. Why? <laughs> Some of her contemporaries went on record saying that they did not care for her. Some have insinuated that she had a penchant for young artists. Ooh, well, mm -hmm. obviously. And that she was a social climber. And it has been inclined that many men and women were threatened by her forceful demeanor as well as her sexual freedom. I want to just go on record and say that I noticed that a lot of these critiques came from men. We're like a surrealist painting right now. <laughs> what next? Inside of egg time. Inside of egg. So Gala and Salvador Dali met in 1929. Salvador Dali invited a bunch of surrealist artists and literary figures over to his humble abode for the summer. Paul Eluard, Gala's husband right mm -hmm. now, and a bunch of others all went to Spain. Salvador Dali at that time was in the middle of a mental breakdown. And decided to invite people over? I think he sent the invitation before. before. Yeah, he like wasn't speaking, he wasn't painting. Gala steps in and she goes to talk to him. This is a quote by Salvador Dali about that moment. She was destined to be my gravida, the one who moves forward, my victory, my wife. Isn't that sexy? That's so hot, that's so You poetic. made it, you made it really nice. I, I mean, I'm paying a lot of student loans for this acting degree I got. Apparently, after they met that summer, his artistic well was full, the porch oh. lights were back on, and Gala, likewise, was drawn to Dali's genius. She wanted something, something which would be the fulfillment of her own myth. And this thing that she wanted was something that she was beginning to think that perhaps only I could give her. You know, he really didn't like touch. A lot of his friends talked about how if he were in his presence, you don't, did not touch him. Huh. Physical touch felt, okay, well you don't have to do I'm just, I'm playing, I'm, like I'm getting in his you. mindset. No, yeah, I'm okay. very touchy. Okay, so they had off the bat a very cerebral, very um, emotional connection. I just think this is an important thing to talk about because I think when we think of like explosive relationships, our mind often goes to the physical. But with these two, it was something very different. That's really nice. Yeah. They seem like total crazies, but... But they found each other. Yeah. The crazies that found each other. That's all one can really hope for. Right. As a fellow crazy. We found each other. <laughs> this is our sacred I like just call. got really like, emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready to start throwing this together. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's do it. So Dali was famous for his method of how he painted. It was called the paranoic critical method. Sounds painful. We as rational human beings don't like think about clocks melting, but Dali would, because he would work himself up, put himself in this space, and then just start painting. Galov found him in this state when he was like already paranoid and was able to kind of like help him A, get through it, and B, make him lucrative, because she was his business manager. Lovager. Lovager. I come at you with the claim. Basically, Gala Dali abandoned her daughter and her first husband Damn. to be with Salvador, mm. which is not Ideal. an awesome move, no. no. But that said, I don't really want to judge because I don't know her life, you know what I mean? His family did not approve of their relationship. Mm. They were married in a ceremony, like, pretty shortly after they met each other, mm -hmm. but then they only had, like, an official wedding with paperwork and everything years later, after oh. his family finally came to terms with the fact that Gala was in the picture and she wasn't going nowhere. Interesting. This is all coming together very quickly. <laughs> yeah, so should we turn the heat down? Oh, you turned it back up again when I wasn't looking. I did not, Don't I actually you. didn't. I didn't, maybe I did. I can't remember at this point. It's all happening so fast. This recipe's wild. I've never put so much lot. butter in anything in my life, but I'm not mad. It's gonna add a lot of richness and I think it's gonna make it like a pipeable texture. We're gonna soften this whole mixture up just a little bit more and now we're gonna put this all in a piping bag and squish it back on into those little eggy shells. <laughs> you look so nervous. I am very nervous because we're working with eggshells here people. It's okay when you're filling a piping bag unroll it a little bit 
because then it kind of stays sturdy. This is like your own little tea bit. Um, this is hot, ow. <laughs> How do they do this? Oh, it's not that hot. You just wait, or am I just a sensitive boy? I know the answer to that question. You don't have to say anything. Ready? Ready, steady, go. Mm. Ah! Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh we my did God. it! Oh my God. She's beautiful, she's our child. I love her. We did it, we're doing it. It's, it's happening. happening. <laughs> it squirted on me. I love this. This is really good for me. Is this good for you? No. Oh my God. That one was really good. That was amazing. I'm so happy. I do enjoy seeing you so happy. Filling these eggs with goop. Six beautiful eggs. So now we gotta put <sighs> skewers in these babies. I got us some clean skewers. I'm gonna go through the small end. Oh, so this I... one's cracking, oh no. Devin, don't ruin it. So another incredible thing I wanna talk to you about, about Dolly is he paved the way for artists to really think of themselves as brands. After him, you think about like Andy Warhol and the factory scene. There was no separation of Dolly the man and Dolly the artist. He, sure. He was. Like and you... pop stars of the day. Exactly, like pop stars. The person who had a really big part in developing that brand was Gala. Ah! Okay. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. You know what, I was confident, I just like rammed it in there, I like, whoo, made it happen. Eggs, be safe. Okay, now we're gonna roast these in the oven. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, since we can't do it over an open flame, which I'm so sad about. Then we get to drink a cocktail and finish oh, up the story. I forgot story. about the cocktail, I need it so badly. Bye. Okay, now that Jared's gone. We should probably save one though, actually, in case it, we mess it up. Now I, I just thought of that now, after I did that. Egg time. Booze time. All right. So all we need to do to finish these is put the juice of one orange into each. So I got two oranges. Come on, what? You look like Norman Bates. I'm just waiting for you to get out of my way. The juice of one orange. It's us. What? To Salvador. It's it's to, us. It's us. We're doing We're it. We're here. To Sal and his gal. To Sal and his gal. I love that. <laughs> That's really spicy. That's very strong. It's definitely overwhelmingly brandy y. Yeah, I taste a lot of brandy. I taste a lot of ginger. It's hit me in the head already. I'm not mad at this though. I'm not mad. It feels like a juice cleanse plus alcohol. Plus booze. So I'm into it. Salvador Dali was really big into plating and how he presented. As an artist, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. So we gotta figure out a creative way to plate these. I grabbed some things from props to plate with, but our set decorator put them back there. Should we do a little competition to see who can present it better? Uh, 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 uh. Can I have a mini sandbag, please? In here, oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Whoa, this balancing act is making me nervous, though. I think it's only fair that we tell you the meaning behind our presentations. Jared, why don't our you go first? <laughs> our artist statements. Um... Mm -hmm. I'll go first. So, <laughs> life as we know it is in delicate balance at all times. One day you could be on top of the world, the next day you can be in the gutter. And elephants are very wise and they hold our future in... Ah! Balance? That was a part of the experience of the presentation. Thank you, this is worth uh, four grand. The story behind mine is, I went into the desert and had a panic attack, and this is what I came up with. I think Sal would approve. <laughs> yeah. I kinda wanna try smashing mine open. It is a surprising experience to peel back what feels like a hard boiled egg and to see this consistency. It's, that is kind of a, oh my god. Okay, shattering it's not the best idea. You definitely need to peel it. It's fun, it smells really good. It is really good. Yeah? It tastes like an herby scrambled frittata. It looks like a brain. I like that it holds the shape of the eggshell, kind of. It does hold the shape. Flavor's good. No raw egg on the inside. Fully cooked. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's pretty successful. Ooh. I'm very surprised and very proud. We didn't shatter one egg we on didn't. camera. We didn't. Yeah. You know what? I liked making it with you. That I will send. Cheers. I liked making it with you. <laughs> So while we're here finishing up, Gala and Dali's marriage grew very tense in their older age. Oh. He bought her a castle in Spain, and he would only come to the castle if she sent him a written invitation. Uh. Yep. 
that's how they <laughs> dealt with their marriage. I mean, that's cool. Right. There's something romantic about that. The last fact I have for you is Gala was buried in a giant chessboard in that castle. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love mm -hmm. art people. Yeah. I want to be buried in 24 Nintendo 64s. Just like made into a coffin. Noted, okay, I'll have to Thank remember you. that. So that's today's episode of History Bites. Tell us in the comments what you'd like to see us cook next. Hopefully more eggs. Mm, no, I could, let, let's do a dessert or like another cocktail. Ooh, pie. Pie. Or cake. Ooh, cake or pie. You're coming with me, honey. <laughs>